This week, things are descending really far down. In fact, as low as you can go. We get kicked out of a questionable establishment and find ourselves in the lowest point in the USA. Meeting locals of all shapes and sizes along the way, this has been one of our favorite stops on our US road trip so far, in the quirky town of Beatty and the legendary Death Valley. Somewhere over those hills is the infamous and super secretive Area 51. The drive from Las Vegas up towards Beatty, which is where we're headed for the evening, um, is pretty interesting. On the left hand side, as you come out of Vegas, about 45 minutes outside of Vegas, you've got a, a jail, a big jail. I think it's one of the correctional facilities largest, isn't it? Something like that, if it's the right one I was reading about, yeah. Absolutely, and then you drive a little bit further on, and on the right hand side... Area 51. I'm so intrigued. I want to know more, but I can't. Have no fear. I have promised Crusoe that today we will see an alien. <gasps> Absolutely. So um, we're heading in that direction. But first, there's also another stop on this road from Vegas up towards BT. Up here on the right hand side, in another half an hour or so, we've got a brothel. These billboards. Anyway, firework shop. Center. Oh, there's the, there's the brothel. Look in the back there. Oh, wow, it really is labelled. Alien Centre Brothel. Um, they're hiring, just so, um, wow. just in case. Okay. Now hiring, um, if anybody's looking for a part-time job in the sunshine. The Alien Cat House Brothel. There's a nice souvenir shop. It's not as seedy as it perhaps may be. Crusoe's just woken up, just in time, little man. I know, he's pointing at the um, sign. Oh, buddy. You waving at the aliens? Let's go and have a look at the aliens, shall we? Come on. <laughs> What's that, buddy? What's that, baby? So Crusoe says, "Uff." anything that's non-human. Yeah, After pretty much. Giraffes. In Botswana. Giraffes, exactly. Hey, buddy. After saying hello to the aliens, we sat down to enjoy a coffee at the local diner, while Crusoe had a little toddle about, and apparently caused some offence. There we have it. We are now leaving slightly quicker than we thought we would be, um, which is not a bad thing, I suppose. Um, but anyway, bit of a weird old story. We've just been kicked out of there because Crusoe doesn't have any shoes on. Crusoe's in the back there. He's pretty cross at the moment. So if he interrupts us as well, look at him, he's laughing. So we've just been kicked out of the brothel. Honestly, it's, it's his fault. people don't even like us. <laughs> so we got asked to leave because Crusoe didn't have any shoes on. Yeah, and I said, are you kidding me, aren't you? Um, there may be aliens uh, wandering around in there that are stealing um, toes. Stealing toes. Yeah. Yeah. You tell us, buddy. There, there you go. See, Chris is showing us his feet. Kicked out of a brothel. That is a new one for the newbies. Appalling behaviour, boys. BT. We've arrived in BT. They've got open range donkeys. Yeah. I do like this place. It is a nothing in the middle of nowhere town. And I've stopped here. This will be my third time that I've stopped here. Is it here. really your third time? Yeah. And at exactly the same place as well. Um, the Atomic Inn in BT. I have no idea why I like it, um, but I just do. What he said. Before we move on from what just happened, I feel it's important we address a few points because in hindsight, I wish I'd walked back in there and defended our decisions as parents. But then it feels weird to have to defend yourself as a parent in the first place, parenting being such a personal journey. One thing we'd like to reassure you all on is that Crusoe's happiness is at the absolute epicenter of everything we do and every choice we make. We're conscious that our videos may portray a lifestyle that caters to our own personal wants and needs and not his. But if you find yourself thinking 
saying that, please remember that each 20 minute episode is boiled down from an entire week of living and that 99% of that living is not on YouTube. We thank you all for caring for him as we do and promise that we will never ever let his great big happy smile be compromised. Also, we weren't actually anywhere near the actual brothel, but it makes for a fun story. Now, back to BT. Oh. Mm. I had the weirdest dream last night, that. Yeah? Um, uh, I dreamt about aliens. Aliens? <laughs> cool, man. <laughs> it was so weird that they came to the front door and they were trying to get in the room. <laughs> no, 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 no. Somebody, somebody definitely came to the front door. What? Yeah, somebody came to our door last night, tried to get in it, for sure. Really? Mm-mm. Yeah. No ways. Yeah. What do aliens look like? Like they do around this place. What, like little green men? Yeah, exactly. And they all had socks on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that Chris uh, Aliens with socks on. Aliens. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, Chris, are you going to find us coffee, buddy? And what's the plan for the day? We're going to head into Death Valley, don't we? Death Valley it is. Let's get the coffee on the go. Oh. All right, let's do it. So, we've had our coffee, reputedly the best coffee in America, from a little trailer just up the road called Mama's Shave Ice. And we're gonna go back later for a shave ice. I have no idea what that is, but it sounds delicious. And the guy that runs the coffee trailer was such a dude and told me some amazing stories about this town called Beatty. But for now, we're on our way to Death Valley and I am super excited for a day exploring. Let's get on the way. So it wasn't just a dream last night. Someone did try and get into our room. It wasn't an alien, it was a bloke. We left us a beer bottle. Crusoe's learned to put the volume up. <laughs> Are you driving, buddy? Come on then, let's get going. Crusoe's taking us to Death Valley this morning. Are you? Mm -hmm. Have you got your license? Oh, 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 there go the windscreen wipers. Careful, <laughs> Its powerful technology actively finds and invites qualified candidates to apply to your job. If only so American Radio had more music and things. less advertising, hey buddy? You, the needle in the haystack. See why four Maybe out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter. <laughs> right, boys, come on then, let's get on our All way. All right, come on, let's go, Crusoe. Okay, so we might as well start the story of Baby with these... <laughs> with these donkeys. <laughs> yes, Crusoe. Yes, bud. I know, we saw the donkeys this morning, didn't we? So apparently there's between two and 600 Fs, as Crusoe says. Do you know what I love about that stat? It's so beaty. Yeah. It's kind of like, well, there's maybe 200 or maybe 600, but there's definitely donkeys. <laughs> definitely donkeys. Are you coming to say hi, buddy? Hi. Oh, you're so sweet. Please don't nibble me. Aff, aff. Hey. Crusoe, look at the F. Check that out, Crusoe. Can there is an actual it? donkey sticking its head in my car. You are so sweet, fluffy, and very dusty. <gasps> F. What do you reckon? Is that so cool, my boy? Is that so cool? They are apparently descendants of some donkeys who were part of the most debaucherous three-day festival in the 1960s, where women used to ride the donkeys around the town completely naked. Brilliant. <laughs> and when they were stopped doing that, they just turned the donkeys out and let them just roam around. Now, we think we might have been victim to a bit of colourful storytelling on that one. I can't find any evidence or written history of this festival online, so who knows if that particular tale is true. But we loved hearing it. Since doing a bit of reading about the donkeys of Nevada, they are as much a part of the landscape as the dunes. Descending from the donkeys whose labours built the state's history of silver mining, they are well loved. Now, donkeys, we have to leave you um, because we have to go to Death Valley. We'll see you later, though. Yeah, so hopefully sweet. we'll survive it. Hopefully we'll survive it. Who knows? It's got a very ominous name. So close your eyes. Children out there who's watching the other side of that mountain, Death Valley. It's not called Death Valley for no reason whatsoever. 
Death Valley because it's scary. Alright, for the next 13 miles, we're going to be going down, 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 down to the lowest point in the United States of America, which is around about, I think, we'll find out shortly, 80 meters below sea level. In July 2018, the hottest place on Earth experienced its hottest month on record, when daytime highs reached a temperature of 127 degrees Fahrenheit, or 52 degrees Celsius for four days in a row. We're here early in the year, so we don't need to worry too much about intense heat, but if you're visiting in the summer, you definitely want to come prepared. I was just reading on the information sign that when the first travelers got to what they call Health Gate, which is I think where we've just been, the heat rising off the floor of this valley was so terrifying that even their horses refused to go any further. The lowest and hottest point is called Badwater Basin, a little further down into the park. We'll head there shortly, but first, there's some pretty interesting stops along the way to visit first. So we're heading to the lowest place in America now. Badwater. Badwater, just down here. We've been at sea level. We've been at 80 feet below sea level, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Now we're heading to the lowest place. Should we do that? We'll do that later, will we? Okay, all right. To the lowest point on the planet, you say? No, the lowest point in America, you say? Okay. Well, that sounds like fun. Should we go and see some salt first? Yeah. Well, we'll go and see some salt first, okay? Over and out. Over and out. Great, that's a deal. <laughs> All right, as agreed with Crusoe on the telephone just now, we're gonna head down to the Devil's Golf Course. I think at the bottom of this road, there are some really cool salt crystals. Um, again, like we saw in Jordan on the Dead Sea. Devil's Golf Course got its name because only the devil could play golf on its surface. A jagged, spired sea of salt crystals which can be heard cracking and popping in the heat. It was a beautiful stop on our way down where Crusoe had a chance to stretch his legs and feel the salt crystals beneath his fingers. It's really important to us that he gets up close to things like this and has a chance to touch and really feel and know the world around him. Last time I came here, it was just a boardwalk. Ah. You weren't able to go out onto the salt pan. Cool. It was just a boardwalk. So I've never been all the way out there before. There yeah. was a rope at the end of that boardwalk. Okay. This is cool, man. Look. Feels like you're stepping off the like the edge of beyond, doesn't it? Uh, they actually close this area in the summertime. Oh, because it gets it too hot. Mega hot out there. Do you know in the summer the temperature doesn't drop below 38 degrees Celsius? Yeah, and, and 57 degrees centigrade has been recorded five years on a trot right here. I mean, 57 it's... degrees centigrade. There are some people that can't handle a sauna at 57 degrees centigrade. Well, one of the caretakers at Furnace Creek said that when he came out to read the temperature yeah. on a really hot day in like the 1960s, I think, yeah. swallows were dropping dead out of the sky. That's so sad. Isn't it? Hectic, man. So in Antarctica, and I know a little bit about Antarctica, they call stuff like this or shape like this pancake ice. 
And that's what I'm reminded of at the moment, pancake ice. But this, like of course, pancake isn't ice, salt. it's pancake salt. It's so it's beautiful cool. out here. It really is incredible. So it's all complete blocks of salt as well. So definitely worth the walk out here. Beautiful. It is beautiful. Check this out. So as you get a bit further out, it's a lot less manufactured down this end, which is quite cool. So you feel like you're going right out into the pans. Yeah. I've just been really impressed by this place. The colours are absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's, you know, all the national parks we've been to over the past few weeks, um, this one's quite special, of course, not just because it's the lowest point in America and the hottest point in the world, but it's special because it's completely different from all the reds and the oranges and yeah. different colours that we're, we've been seeing recently. Yeah. Next place we're going to is another national park, isn't it? It is, but it's full of trees. It's full of trees, so we're going to get some more colours. We're going to get greens. I am excited to yeah. see a tree. But Thank first, you. we're going to go do a little drive called Artist's Way, and it looks like it's basically like a palette of watercolours through the canyons. Yeah, it, it's, it's a beautiful one-way drive um, that wiggles its way around some very, very beautiful rock formations. And then I think it's back to Beatty. Back Beatty. to Beatty. And that all anticipated shaved ice. <laughs> I can't wait for I the shaved ice. I can't wait ice. for the shaved ice. Right now, and I want to meet that dude that Tara was talking yeah, to. Yeah, he's such a dude. Well, yeah, sounds like a bit of a... Such a dude. Bit of a lad. So, let's head back. Taking the drive up through the Artist's Drive in Death Valley is such a remarkable and very special way to end your time here. The whole place is somewhere that really surprised us in its stark beauty. And when you head up through this winding and undulating drive, you're treated to Mother Nature really showing off. The highlight of the route is Artist's Palette, where a variety of metals have coloured the earth in an array of different hues. And it is truly breathtaking. Let's go and get some snow cones and uh, call it a wrap. Let's call it a wrap. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh, my little thing. Oh my gosh. Is there anything cuter in the world than a fluffy baby donkey? Please don't put your hand up quickly. <laughs> Buddy, you've got some, uh, like some competition here. There we go. Look at that little up. nose. Oh, sweet. Very thing. cute. Come on, we so want to go on a mission. So fluffy. Oh. We know exactly where we're going. Apparently, the donkeys are coming with us. They are, yeah. They're following. Mm -hmm. I think it's Crusoe. I've got some bad news for you, darling. That does look decidedly closed, doesn't it? No. Google said it's open till eight. I think closed. Let's get closer, he might just be in there. Man, I cannot even tell you how gutted I am. Is it appropriate to have one of these at six o'clock in the morning? Man, Google City was open till eight. Let's take Crusoe to the park. Blast, all right, to the park. And then we'll call it wrap, I think, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello, little man. Hey. 
Careful, careful, sit down for mummy. Sit, 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 sit. <laughs> sit. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Well, on that note, please remember that if you enjoyed the video to hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and join us for the journey and please leave us a comment because we love hearing from you and we always reply. So we'll see you there for a bit of a chat. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next week. We will see you next week. Gosh, I nearly, <laughs> <laughs> I nearly missed out on that one. Catch you later, guys. Bye.